welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it is Sunday morning and you may have seen some video prior to this or you'll see some video after this of working the football game. It was so busy. It was a fully packed stadium. I was a little anxious but I did wear my mask so that was good. I'm having the pork <laughs> or beef meat and cheese stick. And I found at my Dollar Tree 33 ounces of ice. It's Venzu Sparkling Coconut Pineapple Zero Sugar. We're going to try that this morning. Mm. Delicious. And then I'm going to reuse these bottles to take backpacking with me. Because I need 32 ounce bottles. So we are out at the, the good dollar tree that I recently found however I was just here the other day so I didn't get much except for some ceramic gnomes to paint what I got four of them because I wasn't sure how I wanted to paint these things but on the way home I'm gonna stop I saw a family that's selling pumpkins on the side of the road and so I think we're gonna stop and check out those pumpkins and then we're gonna go home and relax I'm so tired I um, ended up walking nine miles yesterday around the stadium while working crazy and I'm tired today but I have to go I have a pool party at my condo that the condo association that I'm on we're hosting so there is that that I need to do today it is 9 24 I've already got cat food in the back seat I went to the Dollar Tree like I do I also needed bleach so that was kind of um, the reason I'm here my trash can smells funky my outside trash can not my inside trash can the one that I put all of my you know bags of trash in so what I'm gonna do is go home and dump this gallon of bleach into the trash can and let it I'm gonna put some hose water in there and kind of rinse it out and then put some peroxide in it to neutralize the bleach and then I can dispose of it but it's gross and it needs to be cleaned out so that's what I want to do this morning. Then we're going to relax. I can show you my cross stitch where I'm at on the one I'm currently working on. I showed you last week the um, Nevermore. I'm still working on that one, but I can show you my progress on that one. All right, we're going to on the road here, and then I will hopefully be able to show you some of the pumpkins. I'm so excited. So I got three big pumpkins for $13, which I don't think is bad. And I'm happy to support somebody local. He grows them in his own little field. So it's nice. Now, we're gonna go home and figure out what to do with them. I gotta hose them off, they're muddy. So yeah, I got a white and two orange. All right, let's go home. Hey friends. All right, I'm back. It's been a long day. I am tired. So today's gonna be a short one, but I wanted to show you some friend mail that I got and I'm so excited about. So, and then I'll show you my cross stitch. Um, this package came from Karen. <gasps> Thank you so very much. I've been looking for these and I couldn't find them. I'll show you what they are. They are soak off nail caps. So they're silicone. And thank you for two because, you know, I can move a little quicker. So I'm just opening them up. The package. Maybe I'm showing you. Yes. Okay. So here we go. What you do is see how they go on your thumb so what you can do is stick like a cotton ball or 
you can just stick. So soak a cotton ball in your preferred acetone nail polish remover. Insert cotton ball into the cap. Gently slide the finger into the cap, allowing the nail to soak. So, I'm putting them on. Imagine that there's cotton balls in here. It keeps it from dripping all over the place and the cotton balls will help them stay in place. So this just makes it less messy when I soak off the gel polish. Trust me, until this finger heals, I'm not bringing gel polish anywhere near my fingers. Or more importantly, I'm not bringing nail polish remover anywhere near my fingernails. So thank you so much. I have been on the hunt for those for a long time. Okay, Ow. my legs are sore. I don't know if I told you, but I walked nine miles yesterday. Oh, I got this lovely card. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? And it is a Halloween um, and Happy Thanksgiving from Erica and her kids. And I love it. And there's like some stickers in here, but I won't show you that part. But isn't that so pretty? Thank you so much, Erica. I appreciate it immensely. And then, let's see. And this one I got a little bit ago. I just forgot to show y'all. So let me get it open. And this is from Darren. Oh, isn't that so pretty? That is a beautiful card. I think it's Darren. Yep, Darren. And look, she sent me some bookmarks. And they're the cats. I'm so excited. I love these. I love using these as bookmarks, page marks when I'm reading. Put them in my planner. I use these a lot. So thank you so much. And I love the cats. Y'all know I'm a, I'm a little cat obsessed, right? But thank you. I love them. I love them. I hope you don't mind if I share one with Sarah. She's my niece. I always get asked who Sarah is. She's my niece. She is 30 and she's a teacher. Now, the, oh, what did I put in? Oh, the next thing I got was from Billy Joe. And if you see one behind me, I'm going to open this other one. Thank goodness I've got lots of bathrooms in this house. It is black cat hand soap. It's a soap dispenser and it's heavy. There's a lot of soap in here, which is nice. Mmm, it smells good. I don't know what that scent is. Wicked treats scented. How sweet is that? Thank you so much. I love them. And look at the green eyes match my boys. I should paint one of them white for Wellington's whiskers, but she sent me two. And I do have four bathrooms in this dang place. Well, three and a half bathrooms and then my kitchen. So I will get plenty of use out of these. Aren't they so cute? I love them. Did I mention I'm cat obsessed? I'm looking at one cat, two cats right now. It's late. It's um, almost eight o'clock. So they're like, um, it's bedtime. And I'm also sitting in the their cat scratcher chair, but I wanted to sit over here today. Okay, so thank you all so much for your very kind and generous friend mail. I really appreciate it. Um, update on my finger, it's still raw. It's closing in. I would say I've got about 10 more days until the whole, so it took up almost the whole pinky towards the side. I mean, they just sloughed off the whole top pad of my finger. So it's healing from the outside in. I need to keep a Band-Aid on it because it's very tender. And I tried leaving a Band-Aid off and having it air out and that didn't go over so well. It hurt so bad. So I keep ointment and a Band-Aid, but I do have the Band-Aid that helps it air out a little bit. But I have to be super gentle and Trust me, no, 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 sir. You're not standing on that, but thank you. These cats are crazy. They think they own the house. Okay, they probably do, but I still pay the bills until they can get a job. Um, anyway, so when I bang it or touch something, I know immediately that it's a bad idea. And yesterday at the football game, I kept clapping and I was like hitting it and I had to remember to like hold this one out and clap like that. 
you know, crazy, right? Um, okay, so the last thing I'm working on, and yes, I will admit it, I've lost another needle. I found the last one I lost. So I don't, I don't know where the other needle, the, the needle I lost today went. But this is what I'm working on right now. Let me get this taut. This is a Q-snap, if you're questioning what this is, um, the plastic thing that it's in. It has these little side that can snap over your fabric, but this happens to be the width of mine. But then my floor stand holds this, or my, not my floor stand, but I'll show you my lap stand. So this is the bottom border, and I'm working on the second border. Oh, I have a needle sticking through. Um, and I'm working my way up. These are needle minders. So this is a Dollar Tree, um, one of the stickers. And this was a lapel pin. And what I've done is got these really super duty magnets. Um, they're rare earth magnets. And on the, on the Dollar Tree little wooden, this is a wooden sticker. I just peeled off the white sticker and used E6000 or Fixall and attached a magnet to the back and then I have a secondary magnet and my needle will stick to these through those magnets. So it's supposed to keep my mind to my needles and I had one attached just sitting on top of the cat and it went flying and I don't, I don't know where it went but I'll find it. So we have that. So this, I mean, this project will take me some time to do. It's going to go all the way up and then probably I have some more fabric that these are thread minders are just a rubber. They're technically for your sewing thread. You put this around it and it holds the thread so it's not all over your house, but it does a fairly decent job of holding extra um, fabric out of my way. And this is what I'm working on until probably I would say December or November when I switch over to feeling like I want to work on Christmas again. And one of you sent me a Christmas cross stitch that I might start working on and finish before I do the Kringles, but we'll see. Uh, my first goal is to finish this gray border at the bottom. So this is kind of what I've been working on. I haven't really done much of anything else, but what that attaches to is this. So this sits on my lap and I can even keep tools in here if I want. It adjusts in all three of these places and then this holds, it'll hold a lots of different types. It can hold a hoop, it can hold a Q-snap, it can hold pretty much anything. And then, um, oops, I need to get it evened out a little better here. And then it, yeah, so you unscrew it and you put whatever, this piece back here will keep it from closing the back and spitting it out. And there's some grooves. I think it's Susie's, Susie's lap stand, I think. I got it off of Etsy, um, but it's handmade. And I like it. It's very convenient for me because I can two-handed stitch. You can sit it on the table. I think some people even sit on this, but mine isn't that tall but it can adjust in all different directions. So I have that um, that I attach. It also keeps it out of the splash zone for Mr. Wellington who tends to throw up. I wanna put this back in and I'll show you what it looks like. I try to keep my projects in here because he throws up and when he does that, um, things get messy. So I'm just attaching this down. And then when I cross stitch, I photocopy my pattern that I purchased and that's so I can write on it with, uh, high, I use a highlighter. Now this one particular frame doesn't like to stay upright, but that's fine, but I can show you. So when I'm sitting in my chair, I just put this on the armrest. It's a little long for this particular frame bottle, but I make it work. But it just sits like this, and then my hands are free to work on it, but it also keeps little man tape behind me here from throwing up on it. So there's that. I'm going to show you what I was working on. 
you know, I've been working a lot, and today I had, um, what did I do today? Well, I took you with me this morning. I ran to the Dollar Tree. I didn't really find anything new for my hauls this week. I've got two hauls coming up. One is strictly Christmas items that I have found so far, and one is Halloween items that I have found. And um, I got my pumpkins, so I put those on my front porch. I washed my car in the driveway so that I could do some touch-up paint because I had some rocks chip my paint and I'm still making payments on that thing and so we're gonna fix it. So I did that today, but for the most part, I was up at my pool house doing, uh, we had a end of summer party at the pool house for everybody who owns condos here. So that was fun and then halfway through the day, my cousin called me and he's a freshman in college and I love him and I miss him so much. He called me and stopped by. He was gonna be in Columbus area. So he came over and visited with me just for a few minutes and I gave him some money because they're hungry. College kids are hungry. So there's that and yeah, I have to work in the morning. I worked all day yesterday at the football game. I left my house at 6.30 and I didn't get home until 5.30. It was a very long day and I went to bed at 8.30. So this was a long weekend. I now that I'm back at football, I really need to cut like hone in on my recording schedule and figure out better days to do things. So I have some DIYs I want to do. I'm still trying to figure out a, a big enough piece of wood to do the OHIO with the skeletons, but I don't have a piece of wood big enough. So I need to figure that out. Um, but I did look online and if you liked those jointed skeletons, they're going to have a Santa, a snowman, and an elf that are jointed and wood. I hope my store gets them. Right now they just brought out their crafting, Christmas crafting stuff, which is okay with me. I would show you some of the things, but I, my cat's crazy and he's laying on the fleece. Oh. <laughs> 